dear friends good morning we have studied about the general characters of chlorophyceae completed two types such as chlorella and volvox chlorella was a simple type unicellular type without any differentiation without any locomotory organ or without any complex sexual reproductive mechanisms volvox was little more a more advanced volvox is a colonial form although it is a unicellular organism it lives as a colony can synthesize its own food there is a division of labor between the members of a colony and the sexual reproduction is highly evolved ugam style so you have studied two types one is very primitive and the next is little bit evolved and a colonial form in this class we deal with another type of chlorophyceae which is a filamentous form filamentous form means the organism is multicellular and the cells cells are arranged end to end so that the organism appears as a filament a filament of single cell thickness and the organism is edagonium the correct pronunciation is edagonium edagonium we will see its habitat habit morphology cellular structure reproduction asexual and sexual and also the life cycle so let us move with the details of morphology and habit in this figure you can see a thallus or a filament where the cells are arranged end to end it is green in color and microscopic since it is of one cell thickness you cannot see a single filament with your naked eye but when the filaments club together you can observe with your naked eye so it is microscopic filamentous these are different stages of life cycle of edagonium you will see all these in detail there is a single filament there are some reproductive structures there is a young filament and the fertilized egg or zygote is there so this is the structures we met with when dealing with edagonia this is another view it also show a clear picture of the thallus peculiarities one of them is the presence of caps the cell with a cap is known as cap cell there are one or more caps in a single cell how these caps are formed it is very interesting we will see that also in this class here you can see an electron microscopic view of the zoospore of edagonium this is also a stage in the life cycle a zoospore a ciliated zoospore now come to the habit habitat uh, and classification the organism belongs to the class chlorophyceae order edagoniales family edagoniaceae and the genus is edagonium what is the meaning of edagonium eudos means swelling bulging gonos means reproductive structure as you know gynoecium gonos gonadium gonads it means the reproductive structure so edagonium means swollen reproductive structure we can see the during sexual reproduction the egg cell is much swollen than the other cells so the name came from this phenomenon and the organism is called as edagonium it is exclusively fresh water and there are around 400 species for this edagonium among this 400 species around 200 are present in india they are very common in the pools lakes and water bodies they prefer calm water stagnant water rather than the running water usually the filament is attached to a substratum that may be a leaf surface or a rock surface or any substratum in water and it is attached to the substratum with the basal cell which is known as the hold fast there are some species such as edagonium terrestris which live in the terrestrial conditions when we consider plant body the plant body is a thallus where it is not differentiated into root stem leaf or any other organ 
and this filament is differentiated into only three types of cells as we discussed the lowermost cell or the cell which is attaching the filament to the substratum is known as the hold fast tip of the filament is the apical cell and the cells between these two cells are called intercalary cells or middle cells so this is the diagram of the filament of the thallus we can see the hold fast the middle cells the apical cell and some of the middle cells have some apical caps if you take a single cell a single cell is a typical chlorophycian cell it is cylindrical or rectangular in shape the basal cell or the hold fast is a specialized cell where the cell tapers towards the base and spreads like fingers on surface of the substratum usually the hold fast is devoid of chloroplast so there is no photosynthesis in the hold fast cell its function main function is the fixation of the filament to the substratum the topmost cell apical cell is more or less rounded in shape it is not elongated like the middle cells it is photosynthetic and green in color the middle cells are the typical cells of, which is cylindrical or rectangular in shape there is a narrow curve towards the upper region and there are some ring like structures towards the upper end flanking on the outside like a cap and these cells are called as cap cells all the cells are not cap cells but the cap cells may have more than one cap and the number of caps in a cell indicates the division it has undergone if you take a single cell we can see there is a cell wall and the outermost the, the outermost layer is made up of chitin as you know chitin is very brittle not at all elastic in the middle there is a layer of pectic substances and the innermost layer is made up of the cellulose so there are three layers for the cell wall the outermost layer is brittle and strong and made is made up of chitin the middle layer is made up of pectic substances and the innermost layer is made up of the cellulose how the growth of the filament takes place growth in ergonium takes place with the division of this middle cells or intercalary cells in the figure we can see the dividing cell as usual the nucleus which is located towards the periphery which is an eccentric nucleus move towards the center of the cell it undergo normal mitotic division after the division the two daughter nuclei separate and in between the nuclei a cell plate is formed it is normal in the case of plant cell where the separation of the cytoplasm takes place with the development of a cell plate after the division of the cell the new cell has to grow but since the cells are covered with a cell wall a thick cell wall made up of chitin pectin and cellulose the cell cannot expand the cell can, cannot enlarge so the ergonium performs a unique mechanism where a thickening is originated towards the tip of the dividing cell the thickening is developed to the inner side of the cell as a ring it occurs towards the uppermost part of the dividing cell it is a filament like this and this is the cell which is going to divide towards the upper end where will develop a ring like thickening towards the inner side after the division of the nucleus and cell plate formation this newly thickened region expands like this as a result the outer cell the outer older cell wall ruptures and one of the newly formed nucleus is included in the upper portion and this expands like this when this cell is expanded the thickening which is formed as a ring or originated as a ring which is made up of hemicellulose which is highly elastic extends and becomes straightened as a result the length of the cell is increased other cell wall materials are deposited on the surface of this thickening material so that the newly formed cell will be having new cell wall 
and the older cell with its nucleus are, will be on the lower side of the newly formed cell. So the newly formed cell has a new cell wall and its older cell wall is ruptured and this remaining of the ruptured cell wall appears as a ring at the uppermost part. This is the cap. This newly formed cell can be called as a cap cell. Now, the subsequent divisions takes place in the newly formed cells. Although the intercarotid cells undergo division, usually the division is restricted to the new cells. So the next division will take place in the newly formed cell. As mentioned, the nucleus of the cell divides, a cell plate is formed, one of the newly formed nucleus moves towards upper side, a ring-like thickening develops into the cytoplasm, into the protoplasmic region from the cell wall. After the division of nucleus is complete and cell plate is formed, this thickening expands. As a result, outer wall ruptures. Again, the cell expands and the newly formed cell wall becomes straightened. And again, the older cell wall remains as a cap. Now the number of caps increased. So as the division, as the number of divisions increases, the number of caps also increase in the cell. So we can say that the division takes place in the cap cells because division is continued in the newly formed cells. Older and older cells will be there. They do not usually do not undergo division. Again, with respect to the reproduction, reproductive cells are formed from this newly formed cells. So we can say the reproductive structures are developed from the cap cells. So this is the development of the cap in endogonium. So there are numerous cells in the filament. The number of cells are increased due to continuous division of the cells of the filament. And next step is the reproduction. Vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation and by echinate formation. Fragmentation takes place by accidental breakage of the filament. The filament may get separated from the mother plant and remain in water and get attached to some of the substratum and grow as a new filament. Similarly, the echinate formation is also considered as a vegetative reproductive mechanism because the vegetative plant body directly develops into an echinate. It takes place when the conditions become unfavorable. The filament, when the pool get dried up, the filaments dry. When such environmental conditions arise, the whole thing of a cell becomes swollen, reddish brown in color, thick walled and develop into an echinate. These echinates will store a large amount of starch and an orange red colored oil and these echinates are formed as a chain because the filament, all the cells of the filament become echinates so the echinates appear as a chain of 10 to 40 cells and when the favorable condition returns the echinates directly germinate to form new filaments coming to the asexual reproduction asexual reproduction takes place with the help of zoospores Zoo spores are motile spores, flagellated spores developed from the vegetative thallus. Usually, a sexual reproduction takes place when the conditions are favorable, when active photosynthesis takes place, active supply of minerals and nutrients, and uh, sufficient amount of carbon dioxide, desired carbon dioxide in the water, and high pH in the water. So, these are the factors affecting uh, zoo spore development. High pH carbon dioxide concentration, uh, availability of light, etc. influence the zoo spore development. We can say it takes place when the conditions are favorable. It is a mechanism for the frequent spreading of the species. The zoo spores are formed not from all cells, but there will be an intermediate cell between two zoosporangia. That means if one cell develops into zoo spores, the next cell will be sterile and the next cell will develop into another zoosporangium. The cell which functions as zoosporangium accumulate large amount of food materials, starch and slightly contract from the 
cell wall. The central vacuole disappears. The nucleus comes to the central position. One end of the cell become slightly conical and develop as a beak at the anterior end. A small lens shaped hyaline region is formed between the nucleus and the cell wall. This hyaline portion which is formed between the nucleus and the cell wall becomes the hyaline bald spot in the anterior end of the zoospore. A mature zoospore is oval, spherical or pear shaped and is unituclate and contains a ring shaped chloroplast. The zoospores are dark green in color except at the anterior uh, hyaline region. So it appears as a spherical structure with a beak at the anterior end and this towards the anterior end there is a bald hyaline region. The remaining region are thick green in color and at the margin of this hyaline region develop a number of flagella. There are a range of blepharoplasts which are interconnected and this flagella arise from this blepharoplasts. And this kind of flagellation is known as Stefana Condi type. When the zoospore becomes mature, the wall of the zoosporangium, the cell in which the zoospore developed, ruptures at towards one end and the filament folds at the rupture and through, the, through this rupture the zoospore comes out into a vesicle. Slowly this vesicle dissolves out and the zoospore moves in the water by lashing the flagella. In this video we can see uh, the releasing of a zoospore from the cell of the zoosporangium.
So this is a, a sexual reproductive cycle in Erdogonium, where the thallus, a filament, single cell in the filament, which metamorphoses into zoosporangium, the protoplasm develops into a zoospore, and it, gets, it is get released in the water. It swims in water and get attached to a suitable substratum by the anterior end towards the base. So it swim using the flagella and reaches a substratum and this bald head is get attached to the substratum and the first division takes place in the cell. Two cells are formed and the lowermost cell becomes the hold fast. When it is attached to the substratum, it withdraws the flagella so that it becomes non-motile filament. And we can say that this hyaline region becomes the hold fast and the uppermost region divide and redivide to form the photosynthetic part of the filament and the life cycle continues, a sexual cycle continues. Next is the sexual reproduction. <laughs> The sexual day.